if you want to make sales, you have to spend money. That, there's nothing I can do about that. I'm really afraid that that's, uh, that's ultimately the truth. However, you don't necessarily have to spend cash. If you want to make sales, you've got to heavily invest one of these things. You've got to have one of these things. You've either got to have an audience. So if you're a big time celebrity watching this video, hello, uh, you might have an audience of followers already. That's a really good way of making sales. You're going to have to have that in order to make sales. If you don't have a big audience, and I'm presuming you don't, if you're starting from scratch, you need to have money. If you don't have money, because I presume you're starting from scratch, you're going to have to put the time in. Now, if you said that you were only going to do one hour a day working on your business, that's actually a pretty good starting point. And that would equate to, you know, 50 hours in a year. And you can actually get pretty far with that. Uh, sorry, one hour a day would be 365 hours in the year. That's actually a pretty good starting block. There's nothing we can do about this. There are no shortcuts. Um, this is a really important point now. All of the stuff about uh, bullshit. Um, fucking funnel tools and software and platforms and all of this kind of stuff is just a huge fucking waste of money for you at the moment. Um, I would stay as far away from that stuff as possible. If anything comes up and says, hey, I've got this traffic explosion formula. I've got this method of just making money just through attracting traffic. It even does the traffic for you. I'm telling you, as someone who's been in this industry a long time, been running my own business for close to 10 years now, it's all bullshit. If it sounds too good to be true, it is. There's no elevators to the top. There's no escalators to the top everyone has to take the stairs that's not to say that it's not going to happen but it's not going to happen immediately if you want it to happen immediately you need audience or money if you can't afford the money and you don't have an audience you're gonna have to take a longer route and that's why it takes time even if you have audience and money it still takes time so what we're going to do is very quickly i'm going to outline how people actually make money with this kind of stuff making sure that we focus on services or uh, systems that allow us to use time rather than audience and money. So the first thing is there's two types of platform. Now a platform quite literally in the, in the, in the same sense that you would have um, a platform to speak on is basically an area for you to view, for you to um, put out your viewpoints and to talk to the world. And you're gonna need two. You're gonna need one, which is considered your own turf. And I'll talk about why this is so why this is so important. And another one, which is a social platform. Now, I'm not going to say which type of platform is the best. Uh, TikTok, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, all of this. I don't have time to go into that. A social platform is one of them. For the sake of argument, I'm going to talk about YouTube because I believe that the opportunities inside YouTube outweigh the majority of the other platforms available. Your own turf is essentially a blog. That's it. For the time being, it's just a blog. And in this particular case, we're going to look at affiliate products. I'm also going to look at uh, live training uh, and potentially your services as well. The reason it's important to have a blog of which I suggest heading to, I suggest heading to wordpress.com. There is a .org, and .org basically is like um, WordPress means you can just do it all like in one place. WordPress.org is the same company, but they provide a thing called a content management system or a CMS that you can install in your own hosting. Again, presuming you've got literally no experience and you're completely starting from scratch, my advice would be start with WordPress.com. There are other things like uh, Wix, you know, however, the majority of my experience is with WordPress, so I would stick with WordPress.com. You don't need a full website, even though you absolutely can build. All of my sites are built on WordPress.com or WordPress.org org uh, you're going to get a ton of advice from developers designers everyone who's basically got an ulterior motive i'm not making any money from this video which is why my advice would be to go to wordpress.com and just start start there and all you need is a blog and you want to start creating content so ultimately you're creating blog posts and wordpress is perfect for that because you need to start putting your knowledge your experience your ideas your education all of that down and start creating blog content we'll go into more detail on that in another one the reason you need a social platform is because you basically need a way of driving traffic to the blog outside of search engines Google is probably the only way that you're going to get traffic to your blog to start with. Don't worry about any of the domains. Don't worry about any of that shit. Just focus on creating content. And the exact same goes for YouTube or Facebook as well. 
content is king. Nothing happens without content. And the reason this is so important is people will try to sell you websites. They'll say, I can do it for 500 bucks, 1,000 bucks, whatever, or I can do it for 25 bucks, or I can do it for free, or you need to focus on your brand or your logo, or your business name. Again, as someone who has run multiple businesses and been doing this for almost 10 years, that is all grade A bullshit. You don't need brand. You don't need fucking any of that. What you need is content. And the sooner you start, the sooner you will build an audience, and that will give you the money to make more sales. So on your blog and on your YouTube, they can be the same topics, by the way. A really simple high-level one is the best, and I've taken this from Miles Beckler, so cheers, Miles, X for Y. So the best marketing strategy, lead generation template, cake mold, cake batter, uh, chicken stock method, lighting equipment, whiteboard formula, pens for brand new chefs, brand new kitchens, small kitchens, uh, parties for children, uh, brand new starting out businesses, businesses going 10 years, whatever. Mix and match it, whatever it is, and you can create a video around it and a blog post. The reason I like this method is first of all, if anything was to happen to YouTube and it happens all the time and all of a sudden YouTube was to disappear, you're still creating content on your own turf. Worst comes to worst with WordPress, if for some reason it disappears, you can download something called an XML file and that's all of your content ready to go on a new website. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen with YouTube either, but there are policy changes that happen. You want to create videos or content based around something and all you're going to do is you put a link in your WordPress, uh, in your YouTube video and a link in your WordPress blogs to the sales pages for affiliate products or to a page saying, hey, I can do live training. It's a hundred bucks. Just click here and buy. And we'll talk, talk about like PayPal and all that kind of stuff later. So the actual action points I want you to come away with are one, I want you to find something on wordpress.com and start writing. Don't even worry about the theme, the design, any of that. The good news is that no one's going to be reading your blog for a long time, but you need to start getting content on there and start creating stuff on YouTube as well. People say, what's the, how much should I be creating? And I really believe that what they're trying to ask me is how much can I, what's the minimum I can get away with? If you're not serious about running a business, that's absolutely fine, but there's nothing I can do. So all I'm going to tell you is you need to create at least one blog post and at least one video per month, uh, sorry, per week. So it, you need to create at least one video and at least one blog post per week. You need to do at least one video a week and a blog post per week. People go, well, there's guys out there who do 12 videos a year and seem to, yeah, fine, but they've also got millions of subscribers. You don't have that. You've only got time. And if you're serious about transitioning your education and knowledge into an online business that makes money, you have to create content, and it starts from there. So I hope this first few videos, we've been going about half an hour now, I'll split this up into three. Hopefully these videos were useful. Uh, I'd massively appreciate in the comments down below if the uh, business triangle was useful for you, as well as understanding different product ideas and a really quick overview of how to set up and start this business going. Head to wordpress.com. I don't have any affiliation with them. I don't have any products or anything uh, that you can buy. Uh, so just go to wordpress.com. I don't make a penny from that. Start using them and start creating content. Be bad, be uh, shit at it basically and create bad content because eventually it's going to get good. But the way that you're going to start making money is eventually you're going to have more and more people see your YouTube videos and you're going to have more and more people click on your links. And then eventually you're going to have more and more people visit your blog and more and more people click on those links as well. And what it means is eventually one video and one blog post will attract more traffic than your entire previous website did in 12 months time. And that's when you reach a tipping point. That's the point that I'm at, but that's what you need to start with. We'll talk about how to sell products later uh, and some other beginner stuff. But in the meantime, guys, thank you so much uh, for uh, watching. I will see you on another video.